congratulations. Here we go, 2020, 15th studio album. Is it feeling good right now, knowing through the pandemic you have the song with Jennifer Nettles, which, by the way, watch the performance, although virtual for iHeart Festival was great. Um, Do What You Can is the single. What, is the, what are the emotions with everything coming on right now, especially as you being an artist? 2020 certainly gives any artist the opportunity to write songs. It's been an eventful period in time, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, unlike anything I'd ever lived. Truthfully, when I'd come up with the album title and we had gone to Nashville to record this, what became the album, it was March of 2019. What I thought was the record turned into just the first batch of songs. What I thought the album title meant was clear vision and a tongue in cheek approach to an election year is going to be a great bumper sticker, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but the events that started to unfold in front of me gave me so many opportunities to write songs. And as I'm writing them, the title took on a much different and clearer meaning. And then, of course, when COVID shut the world down and we postponed the album, uh, I wrote Do What You Can and then ultimately American Reckoning. And now, and very clearly, I could turn in 2020 and say, this is a snapshot of the world in which I, I view. Did we think we'd ever have a, a situation like this? I mean, you've experienced so much in your career, but to be able, like you said, as an artist, to continue to put out work during something like this, but to also be so literal with the lyrics and letting people know, this is, we can't do this, but here's what you can do. Well, yeah, look, it, everybody creates the ripple effect, you know, every little pebble in, in, the, in the pond creates the waves, right? So innocently, my wife Dorothea snapped my picture at one of our JBJ Soul Kitchen. So here I was washing dishes. Well, she just wanted a caption for our social media so that the in need population would know that we'd be there for them. I think what she was asking me was the time of the day and the day of the week. But I said, if you can't do what you do, you do what you can. I walked away, and the next day when I got up, I went, well, there's a big old Bon Jovi chorus. <laughs> so I wrote the song. And, and it, it goes to show you that anything can lead you to you know, writing a song. Yeah. And, and that call to action, I knew that I had something unique. Because no matter who you are or where you are on this planet, we were living that together. And that's when I shared the first chorus and the first verse. And I said, here's my song. I already wrote it. But tell me your story. If I like it enough and I can make high, you know, heads or tails of it, I'll sing you a verse back. And then, you know, that interaction. I knew I had something really unique. And so um, we, the band, recorded it. And, uh, and it had to make the record. No, it's absolutely beautiful. You and Jennifer together with those vocals. It's perfect unison. And thank you for continuing to use your voice on things that are, uh, you know, happening to us currently when we're all a little bit lost. Um, you mentioned JBJ Soul Kitchen, obviously with you and your wife. By the way, happy birthday to her. Yeah, yeah. Today's Dorothea's birthday. Thank you for knowing that. Yeah. Uh, very excited. Best day of the year as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. <laughs> and you are Hall of Fame dishwasher. You mentioned that. I love everything that you are both doing for the community, making sure that everyone's taking care of as best to your ability. I know on Stern, you were saying you wanted that industrial washer at your house. Did we get it? Yeah. <laughs> you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it's done in three minutes. It's washed and dried. Yeah, we did. <laughs> do you like do do you like cleaning more at your house or obviously at the kitchen? At, well, the at truth house? is, is I don't know how to work the industrial one, and you got to mix these chemicals, and so we never use it. But I did install it. <laughs> I love that you followed up and you got that. Listen, I'm single. I need to know. You've said this before. You got it right the first time with her. You wouldn't trade anything, which I love so much. How do you guys have date nights these days? Or what is it like for the two of you? And how great is it that you can continue to celebrate life together? You know, I think that it's just, we're so joined at the hip now that we just, we don't need to have date night as much as we just love being in each other's company. We'll sit on the couch and watch the news or watch a football game. We don't really need to dress up and go out. But when, you know, it's the little things. It's making her tea every day it's you know being up to do that first you know it's just the little things that we just try to do for each other 
you know, all the time. Would, would she say, I know you don't want to speak for her, would she say it was love at first sight? I'm going to hope it was, but, you know, I was smart enough to, to hold on tight. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. I know we don't have much time with you, and I've yet to speak to you. This is uh, about this song with that everyone, it always comes up, obviously. It's one of the biggest songs that have helped so many people, like so many of your other records, Living on a Prayer. We do something called Anatomy of a Song. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to sing anything. <laughs> But it should be our 2020 anthem in addition to the new record that you have, um, because it does help so many. I just want to go back. What was the actual very first inspiration behind that song? You know, the truth is it's sometimes songs fall out of the sky. Yeah. Unlike Do What You Can, for instance, that I wrote myself recently, the collaborative effort happened on Living on a Prayer, and I co-wrote that with Richie Sambor and Desmond Child. Yep. The three of us didn't have anything when we walked in the room, just ideas about what we were feeling for the album. Right. When we walked out of there that day, having created that song, I honestly remember saying to Richie, eh, it's okay, I think we should give it to that soundtrack that they're asking us for a song. And he said, are you out of your mind? And I, I, I get it, but I don't get it. And in truth, <clears throat> it was such a unique song, especially well even now it didn't yeah. sound like anything on the radio it didn't sound like anybody else or anything else and of course you know it's it's one of our cornerstones one of the biggest songs that we'd ever written um but it fell out of the sky it was written in its entirety in a day and you know it'll be mentioned in my obituary someday <laughs> oh far from now far from now but it definitely is one of those songs that you you always can use that in your life um i and i was trying to research this even more again tommy and gina real people in your life fiction you know fiction. but my bases were two guys like a guy that i grew up with and, and he gave up his dream to get married young and he's still with his wife today some you know 36 years later uh, and he had to do that. And that was the sacrifices that they made early on. And that was my inspiration that day. I know what each of us brought, you know? Yeah. Uh, and we, we, we reminisce about it over the years. And everybody brought a little something to it. And it just turned into magic. Um, you've done so much. We love your TV film. Every time your face is on the screen, we're paying attention. Do you remember being on the Sex and the City set? Uh, working with SJP, all, the rest of the ladies there. What do you remember about playing? Your My character? scenes were with Sarah, uh, yeah. and it was only their second season. So, you know, the the full on hoopla maybe not had kicked in, you know, at least to a guy from Jersey. Uh, you know, but I had an acting opportunity. I I liked her. I liked the show. I remember playing Twister. I remember the bed scene. Uh, you know, so yeah, it was a pleasurable experience. Your hair has always been something I've looked to. Can you tell? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what products have you used throughout the years? Can we get all the volume all the time? Or are we just letting it go now? We're just letting it do its thing. Yeah, I've gone out of my way to be gray. <laughs> you know, I, I, it's, I'm making a fashion statement in truth. Um, just what I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> well, you but it's better than Hair Club for Men, and it's better than uh, the brown dye that, you know, <laughs> Gray's the way uh, me and, to go. Me and Clooney and the, and the Silver Foxes. That, that's us. That's going to be my new band. I love it so much. And you know, um, as an artist, I really appreciated your story about vocalizing five yeah. days a week. Are you you're still continuing to do that? How long, ha how long has it been that you've start, done that and continuing? That's why we started at this time of the day today, because I had to do that first. Um, I, I've been doing it five days a week for probably just the last five years, but I've been taking lessons with the same lady for 31 years um, and, and now her sister. So Katie Agresta and, and her sister, Mary Jo Dupree. Uh, yeah, five days a week. I, I just, Tony Bennett sings five days a week. Tom Brady goes to practice five days a week. That's what John Bon Jovi does. So that's what it takes, kids. There you go. Again, congratulations on this new album. And the last line I want to say, I again, going back to living on a prayer, we've got each other and that's a lot of love. If you were to just say, do you live by that? And if you broke that down to someone, what does that truly mean to you, just that line? 
I think it says what it says, right? It's not about material possessions. It's not about uh, fame for sure. Uh, we got each other and that's a lot for love is what yeah. it is. And, you know, so let's give it a shot. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Congratulations on this album 2020. I can't wait for everyone to hear it. And the video is so beautiful with you and Jennifer. Thank you so much, John. Thanks, lovely. Nice talking to you.